Corsair have released their K63 entry level keyboard, which comes in at 80 USD or 119 Australian dollars. Though one has to question whether this keyboard is worthy of a spot in the life of a yes man. Well, let's find out. Welcome to Tech City. This is your Yes Man coming to you guys today with another keyboard review. Though this time it's Corsair's entry level Cherry MX Red Switched 10 Keyless Solution. So it has the 10 numpad keys on the right missing, making it a bit narrower than your standard keyboard. Though with this model coming in at 365mm wide by 170mm tall, it also weighs in at 1.1kg, so it does have a little bit of weight to it. Though what about the elevated key switches? Well of course they have decided to go with the Cherry MX Reds in this model, which actuate about halfway down, and are a linear switch with ABS keycaps. The keycaps allow the static red LED backlighting to show through, and there is also a red backplate underneath the keys which allow the red light to shine through and looks quite good, especially in the dark. I have found typing on all the keys to have really good consistency and also be very rigid in that there was no flexibility and all the keys and the way they have been implemented in the K63 are all top notch. As for noise on this keyboard, I found it to be about midway between that of a blue switch and that of a top ray, though I'll let you guys take a listen. The responsiveness of the keys, however, is only a fly sh** behind that of their new Cherry MX speed switches, which Corsair use in the K95 Platinum Edition, which actuated a slightly higher point than that of the Reds. So this is something that professional gamers, looking for every bit of advantage, may want to consider with the K63 versus a higher end model. I personally prefer the higher actuation points, even though I'm a scrub, has been nowadays, when it comes to professional gaming. Looking at the top of the keyboard, Corsair have included media playback keys, a Windows lock key, and also a brightness key that allows for three different levels of brightness adjustment. I personally preferred max brightness, kind of like one is to prefer Mr. Max Powers to Mr. No Gains. And on the rear side of the keyboard, you get four rubber feet and an additional level of height adjustment. There is no wrist rest included with this keyboard, and the cable is a good two meters in length. Testing out the K63 in games showed it to be just like any other mechanical keyboard when gaming and that is a matter of opinion and what's best for you. Though I will say it was a good experience when playing some CSGO, very responsive and also very easy to use. Though I do feel like your mouse is a much more important choice if you are serious about being competitive. The included Q2 software also allows you to change standard keys to different keystrokes and also program individual macros. The lighting effects also allow for multiple effects at once, where you can adjust speed and opacity of those effects, though on this keyboard you can only do that in the color red. Lastly, Corsair claimed this keyboard has anti-ghosting properties and full end key rollover, and with my super spam test, it performed very well, missing no keys at all. So when it comes down to it, the K63 is a solid keyboard from Corsair, one with consistent build quality all throughout the keyboard with an easy matte black look as well that doesn't soak up any fingerprints. And sure, there are cheaper options out there for keyboards, especially ones with knockoff clone switches, but I don't think they'll be as consistent as this keyboard is. Though the only thing I'd like to see on the K63 in the future is the use of speed switches instead of the reds. Though that is just a personal preference, and I think at its price, it is a great option for someone looking for a premium keyboard, but doesn't need the features that more expensive keyboards have, especially if you aren't going to utilize those features anyway. And better still, there is the option to assign macro keys with the software, and you still have the backlighting to see your keys at nighttime or in a poorly lit room. Anyway guys, the K63 at its current price point definitely gets the nod of approval from me. And let me know in the comments section below what keyboard are you currently using and why. Love reading your comments as always. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button. And also this keyboard was a review sample sent out for review by Corsair. Though I will be giving it to my friend for his birthday. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.